Potion with splosh, dude. Does posh splosh sound almost vulgar to you? Yeah, almost vulgar. Uh, almost as vulgar as potion explosion sounds. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael E. Murphy, I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and you are watching Board Game Highlight, where we take a game that lives on our shelves and we go in depth into why it lives on our shelf, why we like it, or if we like hate it and it's a spite play situation, why we would do that. I don't know if we have one of those, but if we do, we'll do a highlight on it and it's gonna be dark, man. So this week for you, I have Potion Explosion. This is a great game. This is a game in which you are uh, playing a, a young apprentice wizard, wizardess, uh, and you are in potions class. We're Harry Potter, okay? And this is crazy ass Snape right here. And we're learning how to mix different potions and things to make points because that's what wizards do. They do stuff for points, y'all. I award Gryffindor House 60 points. Uh, and it's just a really fun, um, I dare say, game that relies on a fantastic gimmick. It basically satisfies that Candy Crush uh, desire that we all have uh, and makes it a real life tactile experience that is very satisfying. I love the marbles, I love the pieces, I love the art and everything in this game. Uh, it really takes the next level. And I just also love the idea of like, just this crazy wizard who's just like, I love marbles, I just focus on marble magic. Not many people do that, except for Egg Shen in, in Big Trouble Little China, he uses marble magic too. Dang, I busted. This is one thing I can say I do not quite love, uh, is that in this iteration of the game, it's a cardboard, this whole marble delivery mechanism uh, is made of cardboard, and you put it together and it, it's, it can come apart if you're not careful. And that's something that in the new version of this game that's coming out soon, this is going to be like a solid plastic molded thing. And I think that is such a great idea uh, because I didn't, this isn't like a doctored up thing. Like this just fell apart in the three seconds it took to take it out of the box. Now I got to rebuild this. I'll be just a minute. Just keep yourself busy. Talk amongst yourselves. You still here? They should speed this up with like some Benny Hill type music, Nick. Oh, that's why. This piece right here, Mike. This piece right here. I missed this piece! Literally sitting right there. God! Huge in yellow. I was a, thinking, like, how does this stay together, man? With a backdrop of black. Hard to see yellow on black, you know? Black and yellow, man. That's why bumblebees are so sneaky, man. <laughs> Can't be trusted. That was embarrassing. That took a very long time. So in this <laughs> segment, we try to highlight the stuff we like about the games. That's one thing I don't like, but they fixed it in the new version of Potion Explosion that's coming out real soon. So hopefully this game sways you to buy it and buy it after the plastic piece thing comes out. So now that I have this fully assembled, this is Potion Explosion. It has this really cool little marble delivery system in the middle, and we are gonna be trying to make many different types of potions that all do different things and also give us points, which is ultimately how we win the game. So we're gonna be trying to uh, basically build the right recipe for these potions. And all the potions here, of which there are eight, types in a game you'll use six of those eight types you can either choose or randomize which six of the potions you're going to have available in any one given game you're going to be trying to fill out the recipes by getting the right amounts of marbles of the right colors the recipes are really nicely clearly laid out here there's always going to be spots to place your marbles onto your potion so in this case to build this is kind of a complicated potion i need three red marbles and four blue I already have one red, meaning I need two more red, four more blue. And if I get this complete, I'll be able to flip over that potion, meaning I can then use its ability. 
and also I will score 10 points at the end of the game. The uh, po potions that use more marbles and stuff will be worth more, but it is harder to get enough marbles in a turn to complete that potion. So that's where we come down to the marble delivery system, which sounds very official, even if it's not the title. Uh, so we call this potion explosion. Why? Because potions are very volatile. We all know this. You know, if you're going there mixing chemicals and stuff, you're gonna get a little wacky. You're gonna turn a little bit bizarro. And, and uh, things might just go kaboom, all right? We've all seen episodes of Breaking Bad and things blow up all the time. Basically, that's what we're doing here. You're goddamn right. But explosions can help us in this game. So an explosion is gonna be created when if I take a marble out and things slide down, if the same colors touch and go pink, then an explosion is gonna happen, meaning you will get to collect all of that type of marble that kind of collided together. If then more marble slide down and this new color connects and it's the same, then you'll get those as well. So I'm gonna show you an example from this middle row right here. You're always on your turn gonna pick up one marble and then see what happens basically. So I can see a lot of what's going on and I can see if I pull this yellow marble, these blue right here are gonna touch and collide, which will cause an explosion, meaning I will get those blue marbles. So I'm gonna pick up my yellow marble, and you saw that was a very violent, amazing reaction. Actually, if we watch it back in slow motion, you'll see that's much more dramatic than it looks in real time. Crazy what slow-mo can do. I had these three blue marbles touch, so that means I get to collect those three blue marbles Pow! Now these two red marbles touch, so guess what? Boom, I get those. These three black marbles touch, so guess what? I get those. These two marbles were already touching. They hit the wall, no explosion happens, okay? Now, I've got all of these marbles, all these many, many marbles, to then put onto my potions if there's room, if I need those types of marbles, and let's see what I can do. So in this case, I could put two red marbles over here and over here. Now I have all the reds that I need for this balm of uttermost stickiness. I can then put all my blue marbles over here. I still need one more on this potion over here, my potion of wisdom. I have a yellow space and I have space enough to put one more black marble. So now I'm looking pretty good. I have over here a little extra beaker space where I can hold three marbles over from my turn, use them on another turn. So this could be the end of my turn. There's a couple of things you can do though to help extend your turn a little bit before you start getting into potions. I'm gonna show you that now. So anytime on your turn, you have the option to get a little help from our professor. Now our professor is here to help teach us how to be better potion makers. He might be a little bit wacky and stuff, but he's always there for you when you need it. So once a turn, you can get a little help. It's gonna cost you two points at the end of the game, but I find it to be very, very worth it because if you use a little help, you can grab one marble from the tray. No explosions will be caused no matter what you grab, but you can grab one potion from the tray to help you complete. So I grabbed a little help. I'm gonna take this blue potion from right there, this blue marble, so I can then add it to my potion. Now what I'm going to do that I now that I completed this is I'm going to be able to take it. All the marbles are going to go back into the marble delivery system. I'm going to flip this over to its colorful side and I get to put it down in front of me face up like this. That means I have this potion. It has not been used yet. I'm going to use it right now though because the second you get it, you can use them. There is no limit to how many potions. You can literally be popping potions all around along with pa 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 As long as you have potions to drink, you can only use them one time though unless you have the sands of time potion which allows you to reuse potions so i just completed this this is the balm of uttermost stickiness which means i can get as many marbles of one color that are in a row so long as they're all connected so i'm gonna beep, drink this bad boy right here and right here i have three yellow marbles so i could then grab that marble grab that marble grab that marble again it will not trigger any sort of explosions but now i got three marbles so what can i do put one right there put one right there and then put one in the extra, and I've just completed a second potion on my turn. Beep. Potion's ready to go at that proper temperature you want. I feel like slightly above room temperature is perfect potion temp. Debate, let me know perfect potion temp in the comments below. We're just gonna go around and turn. Oh, there's all sorts of different potions, ones that allow you to kind of put whatever marbles on your space if you have them in this extra area. There's ones that allow you to steal marbles, ones that just allow you to get like one marble but without having to lose points like with a little help. All sorts of potions which you can then hopefully combo into each other. 
all in hopes of making a bunch of different potions and getting these things called skill tokens. You'll get skill tokens right here, which are worth four points, if you get five different potions. And then for every potion type, if you get three of that type of potion or more, you'll get a skill token as well to get some bonus points. I mean, that's really the game. It's really as simple as that. It's just a bunch of people coming around, putting together marbles to make mysterious magics that do things that we're not quite sure. It seems like all the marble magic is contained in getting more marbles. And that's that's cool too, man. Magic doesn't have to be big and explosive to be interesting. Oh, that's good green right there. Where are my newt's feet? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not interrupting anything weird. What can I do you for? With, with all the different liquor. Oh, you, you've never taken potions. It's amazing. You'll love it. Because what I can do is I can combine different combinations of various elixirs to make incredible magical effects. You can do magic? You'll never believe it, because if I put in just a dash of swamp gas, bit of blue ball, and swirl it thrice, I can produce all of these types of marbles. Ah? Those are cool marbles, man. If I do a different combination of different elixirs, I might get all of just one color of marble. Do they do anything, or like, are they just, you just do it to collect marbles? Yes, most of my magic is marble based, but that's, it's still magic. Like, you know that magic exists now. I would just, I'd rather go buy marbles. I don't want to, like, drink a bunch of weird stuff. One more thing. My magic, I can make really great burritos with it. Hmm? Is it a burrito full of marbles? Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, folks. Thank you so much for joining me on my newest board game highlight. Potion Explosion is a game I really love. Uh, weird cardboard contraption aside. This game also has a super solid app. The app version of Potion Explosion is super fun. I play that far more than I play the physical copy, but I got the app first and then got this copy because I love the tactile nature of it so, so much. I love putting together all these cool combos. I can go like, bow, and then bow, and then bow. All of these marbles, I, I'd like it. I'll do it even if I don't need that many marbles. It's just super fun to cause the explosions and then use the potions and again, find ways to combo those potions together. Um, I don't know, man. I, I played this first at a convention. And I loved it. I've loved it ever since. I think it's fantastic. It's a game with a gimmick that absolutely works it. And uh, I'm a fan. I'm just a big old fan, okay? And that's why it is my latest board game highlight. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you want to see us highlight next. Let me know if you play Potion Explosion. If you like it, do you play it on the app? For now, I have been Michael E. Murphy. You've been hanging out, watching me talk about Potion Explosion here on Board Game Highlight. <laughs> These end bumpers are always exactly the same. We're always sponsored by Restoration Games and we always have funny little videos over here that you can check out that relate to this video. But you know why it's really always the same? Because we live in LA and it never changes here. It's 85 and sunny every day, including right now. You know it, check the weather, middle of the night, don't care, 85.